For many years, Yahoo Finance has been the go-to place to get free data in Excel. But just recently, they put that behind a paywall. But I'm going to show you a way I found around that. They thought they were sneaky. So let's just go to the Yahoo homepage and search for some symbol. I'll just click on Intel because it came up first. So normally, I would have gone to historical data. And then I would have looked over here to download some data. And you see there's a little locked icon over there. So if I click on that, you'll see I got to look in this $40 a month thing to export historical data to CSVs. That's crazy. So here's a better solution for that. I don't know how long it's going to work for. Hopefully it works for a long time. Let's say I want five years of historical prices of Intel stock. I can go over here, uh, hit five years. Or I could, you know, custom sort by uh, certain like start and end dates or get the max or whatever. For this, I'm just going to do five years. So now what I'm going to do is depending on what browser you're in, it might work a little differently. I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom way out just so that I can fit a lot in this browser. And then where date was, I'm just going to start grabbing there. And then I'm just going to scroll all the way down. The reason I zoomed out was so that the scroll happens faster. So I'm going to get to the very end of this table. I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to go back into Excel, open up a blank workbook, and then I'm just going to paste here with this match destination format. Now that looks better. So they thought they were sneaky. They thought that they'd put it behind the paywall. Easy. We got all the data. Now there's one other thing we need to consider because there's like some lines in here that have, I think, dividends. Like here's a line with dividends. So we're going to make sure that we have this all highlighted. If you unhighlighted it, just click the top left corner, hold control shift right arrow, and then control shift down arrow. We have all the data now. Let's throw a filter on there by clicking up here and hitting filter. And now that we have this filter, let's go to this column B here and then just type the word dividend and hit enter. And now all the dividends are gonna pop up in that range. Now I'm just going to start with the first one and I'm gonna grab and click and I'm gonna highlight over all of them. And I'm just going to right click on here and hit delete row. So now all those dividend rows should be gone. So now let's uh, select all. So we'll click back on the filter, hit select all. Okay, so now we've got all of the data that we should need with no dividends basically filled in to make our data, I guess, more dirty. And now one other thing we can do is we can re-highlight back over everything. I'll hit control shift down arrow. And I'm going to do a uh, sort and filter and then I'll do custom sort. And basically the re I'm going to reorder the dates because the way that it used to work is that it used to start from the lowest date and then go down to the most recent date. So if you're following other tutorials and stuff, you might want to uh, change up these dates real quick. Let's go by date and then we'll go from oldest to newest and hit OK. And now all the data has been resorted to be the way that it used to be.